The innovators are coming. The problem is, we don't know how they got here. This man on Twitter claims that OpenAI has achieved level 4 AGI, also known as innovators. While this tweet is the only news about innovators, we have multiple other clues that suggest they could be just a few months away. And so I think it makes more sense to talk about when we'll build systems that can do capability X or Y or Z rather than, you know, when we kind of like fuzzily cross this one mile marker. It's not like, like AGI is also not an ending. It's much more of a, it's closer to a beginning, but it's much more of a mile marker than either of those things. The thing I'm personally most excited about, maybe of the whole AGI world, is that these models at some point are gonna help us discover new science. The fourth is sort of innovators, the ability to figure out new scientific information. That sort of sounds like level four, which is, uh, you know, the innovator stage. It's very funny you say that. I, I had been telling people for a while, I thought that the level two to level three jump was gonna happen. And then the level three to level four jump was somehow gonna be much harder and require some medium sized or larger new ideas. And that demo and a few others have convinced me that you can get a huge amount of innovation just by using these current models in really creative ways. We are living in a time when tech giants like Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI are racing to achieve artificial general intelligence. For this purpose, OpenAI, on July 9, 2024, introduced a five-level system of AI capabilities. According to this system, AGI will finally be achieved once we reach level five. We have these five levels of AI we talk about. Uh, the first was chatbots. The second, which we've just reached now, is reasoners. Uh, the third is agents. The fourth is sort of innovators, the ability to figure out new scientific information. And the fifth is full organizations. Level one conversational AI. This is the foundational level, which we have already achieved in 2018 when the first model of the GPT series was released. Level 2. Reasoning AI. As you may already know, OpenAI's O3 model has outperformed humans on several reasoning benchmarks. This means level 2. AGI has also been achieved in certain cases. O3 was able to score 85.7% on the same hidden holdout set. This is especially important. 87.5. Sorry, 87.5, yes. This is especially important because um, human performance is, uh, is comparable at 85% threshold. So being above this is a major milestone. And we have never tested a system that has done this or any model that has done this beforehand. So this is new territory in the ARC AGI world. Congratulations with that. Congratulations for making such a great benchmark. Yeah. Um, when I look at these scores, I realize um, I need to switch my worldview a little bit. I need to fix my AI intuitions about what AI can actually do and what it's capable of. Level three, autonomous AI. This is actually about AI agents. At this level, AI becomes autonomous and can operate independently for long periods of time. Recently, OpenAI has also launched its first AI agent, Operator. Operator is a system that can use a web browser, uh, in this case, a web browser in the cloud, to accomplish tasks that you give it. Just like you would use a web browser, you can get pixels in, you can look at a screen and control, an operator can do that and then control the keyboard and the mouse and do all sorts of things. Now, after AI agents, there's news that the next level of AGI is also on the way, and that is level four, innovating AI. This is one of the most critical steps toward AGI. And in this video, we are going to talk about what this level of AI actually means and how it will completely change the way we use AI tools. Now, the last level five, organizational AI. This is the final level of AI capability, which allows it to run a whole business on its own. This tweet by Riley Coyote claims to have insider news about OpenAI. According to him, OpenAI has developed an AI system that reaches level 4 AGI, the level where AI systems are capable of innovating new ideas itself. And that's the reason they are called innovators. These innovators would be the AIs that can solve problems and generate solutions independently, without external guidance. The line in the tweet, we don't know how they got here, mentions exactly what innovators would be. Although Riley Coyote makes this claim, OpenAI hasn't officially confirmed that they've achieved level 4 AGI yet. However, Sam Altman has hinted in interviews that it's not far off. Was somehow going to be much harder and require some 
medium-sized or larger new ideas. And that demo and a few others have convinced me that you can get a huge amount of innovation just by using these current models in really creative ways. I think things are going to go a lot faster than people are appreciating right now. So it seems that innovators could be coming soon. But how soon? The tweet gives us an answer to this question as well. The line, others will begin red teaming what I saw sometime in April, hopefully, suggests that even if OpenAI hasn't announced it yet, they might reveal something major around April this year. The innovators are yet the hypothetical tool, so we have no idea how powerful they might be. However, just to have an idea of what the real innovator would look like, let's look at the AI systems already available. We all know GPT-4, Tesla's autonomous cars, Microsoft's Copilot, and other generative AI tools. They are quite impressive. They rely heavily on pre-training, human-provided data, and explicit instructions. A level 4 AGI innovator would be fundamentally different from current systems. It would think much like human scientists and inventors. The fourth is sort of innovators, the ability to figure out new scientific information, and the fifth is full organizations. It will set its own goals based on high-level instructions or even self-identified challenges. For example, it might decide to tackle climate change by inventing a new form of renewable energy without being explicitly told to do so. OpenAI refers to this next level as organizations, a stage where AI becomes true AGI. At this level, AI would possess all four levels of intelligence and would be capable of running entire organizations autonomously, much like humans do. Altman once predicted that we could reach level five within 10 years. However, given the rapid pace at which AI is progressing, it doesn't seem too far off. For example, OpenAI released its first reasoning model on December 20th last year, and just a month later, it introduced its first AI agent, which is already at level three AGI. So things are moving fast. Earlier this week, Chinese AI research lab reportedly released cheap yet powerful AI model, DeepSeek R1, which rivals industry leaders like OpenAI in reasoning, code generation, and efficiency. As it's open source, people are using it on high-end laptops. Locally, no cloud or internet is required to process the data. It caused a slump in the stocks of US technology firms, as investors questioned the billions of dollars they are spending on new AI infrastructure. That might be the reason OpenAI is moving too fast. If you like my voice, comment down below. If majority agrees, I will do the voiceovers for this channel.